Good evening. Today is moving day. Wow, so exciting. So it is currently nine. I woke up at ah! Sorry. I woke up at eight. I literally had like four hours sleep. It was like you know like the night before Christmas when you can't sleep. It was literally that I could not sleep for the life of me. So I haven't had much sleep, but like I'm not even tired because I'm that excited. If you can see behind us that big van, we borrowed that van off someone. We've just like filled it full of old furniture I've ordered because for the past few months I've been ordering so much furniture to my house so that today when I get the keys and move in, literally by tonight everything will be well not it won't be like fully done at all. There's still a few rooms I haven't done yet, but a lot of furniture will be in it so that I can live in it tonight. I'm getting my keys at eleven, but I haven't had the chance to go like into town yet like shopping for kind of smaller decorations i've kind of only bought like big furniture if you know what i mean i'm gonna go to urban outfitters and find some de de decor I, mean, I say decor but my mum said that's wrong it's decor or something so i'm gonna try find like little cute things i'm really hoping they have some it's a pump pumpus grass pumpus mousse or something like you know there's that brown flower that everyone has i really want it um so i'm hoping urban outfitters does it also that was my last night in my family hall it's how fucking weird is that because like why would I stay at that house again? Do you know what I mean? I guess on Christmas Eve I probably will, but apart from that I probably won't, which is really, really sad. God, I might cry. Anyway, let's go to Urban Outfitters. Okay, back home now. Because I literally like drive, I used to drive that journey every day, like back and forth because my school is like kind of in town. I just realized like as I pulled up to my house there, I was like, I just, I blacked out there for a good 15 minutes. I was not there. I completely zoned out. Like, it's literally like muscle memory. So I just didn't pay attention. That is really bad. That is bad actually. Anyway, was singing a lot of Olivia Rodrigo. I love Olivia Rodrigo. I'm an absolute stan. I literally sing at the top of my lungs, like nearly crying. And I'm like, I'm literally in a happy, healthy relationship. Like, why am I? I don't know if I'd call that a successful shopping trip, but let me show you what I got anyway. So I went to an Urban Outfitters to get some clothes for the weekend and loads of house stuff because I didn't really pack properly at all. So I have no clothes for this weekend. And I came out with um, a cap, just one cap. That's it. Oh. It's also, it's a Von Dutch cap and Lewis has one of these and he's gonna fucking kill me because I remember Flossie tried to get a Von Dutch cap once and he was like, you're copying me, but do I give a fuck? Not really. Then I went to this big place called Sawstream Green. Sawstream Green? It was opposite Urban Outfitters. I, I'm assuming it's everywhere. It's, it's very rare for a place just to be in Belfast. And I got this wee candle and I got this wee bowl, cute. I do have like all the basic white bowls and plates and stuff from Ikea, but I love collecting little cute bowls like this. Do you know what I mean? And the same with mugs. Like I'm I'm a mug collector because in my family home, like we do have a few like white mugs from Ikea just in case we have loads of people around, but we've like collected mugs over the years. And I just love, I think it's so cute. And like everyone has their own favorite mug. Do you know what I mean? I got some dried pampas grass. I found it. I also got this really cute wee like bunch of floors. And then I got two lampshades. They look like that. They're like rat tan. I also got some silicone straws because I've never tried silicone straws before. I've only ever had stainless steel ones. So I got some silicone ones. And I think I'm also going to get some glass ones because I've seen people use glass ones. And I, I think that would be quite nice actually. It's now half 10. So I don't think I'm getting my keys for about another hour. So I'm going to go do some editing and I will let you know when they call me to come get the keys. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Olivia from the future. The next part of this video is actually sponsored by Gymshark. Gymshark is an activewear clothing brand. I'm sure you know what Gymshark is. It's amazing, like everyone loves Gymshark. They do such good activewear. Like they literally do every single style, every color. Like there's something for everyone on their website. I've been wearing it for years now. Like it's just such good quality, but also so pretty. They sent me loads of stuff. So I'm gonna do like a little haul for you. I'll link everything down below that I am wearing in this video in the description in case you wanna have a look. But I do feel like getting new workout clothes is always good for encouraging you to work out. I don't do a lot of working out. I need to do more. I just literally get active where I know I like lounge boy and like to go to the, get a coffee. You know, you cannot beat getting a coffee in your active wear. But I feel like now it's summer coming up. That, that's a good excuse to start exercising a bit. I know they've sent me new stuff. I'm like actually really motivated to start maybe going on a few runs. I may be going to start Pilates. Isn't that fun? And I could wear that. This is such a good Pilates outfit. Okay, so these are some new shorts I got from Gymshark. Actually obsessed and they're so comfy. And then this orange sports bra has like a wee ruching here, so cute. Okay, so the next thing we have is like really nice high-waisted black leggings. I love a high-waisted legging, it just kind of sucks everything in. And then this little, again, ruched sports bra. I'm literally obsessed with this style of sports bra. It's definitely my new favorite. Another really cute sports bra I got is this little like lime mint, is mint green or what? Yeah, mint green. How cute is it? And it's high neck as well. And then finally we have this really cute pink set. I mean, you literally cannot go wrong with like a nice, bright, colorful, to wear a set. I love it so much. I would wear this out like any day. I would wear this out with like a nice hoodie, like zip up hoodie. If you are looking for some new active 
workwear, then make sure you go check out Gymshark because they have literally every color and every style you could ever want. Or if you like any of this stuff, I will link it down below. You can cop some for yourself this summer. Okay, it's time to go get the keys. It actually is quite late, it's half two. It got delayed, they just like, hadn't finished yet. I'm a bit stressed, can't lie, I was editing and like I have not got it finished and it's for a brand and ah, I'm just so busy and I'm, you know, things are just being getting hot with me, but I need to get in a better mood now because we're going to pick up the keys and that's really exciting. Oh my God, I can't believe she has a house. <laughs> Okay, the guy has left now and I've got the keys and we're just bringing everything in. These are my two removal men. I don't really know what I can do to be handy because like I can't no, build anything. Like well, I suppose I can, I can gonna, like put all like these like, glasses and stuff away. But I'm just, I'm wowed by this thing. I've always wanted one of these. Guys, moving into a house is not as fun as it seems. Because obviously I moved before, uh, but like the whole flat was furnished so I didn't have to build anything or anything. It was just like buying fun decorations and stuff. But like, this is stressful, we got in late and like now I'm scared that the beds aren't gonna be ready and I'm just, I'm, I'm very stressed out. We're in the moving van, we're just on our final like uh, trip back to my house to get all the last few things. Luckily John's finished work now so I think he's gonna come help, he's like quite a handy man. Hopefully he'll be able to build a bed or two. I'm not really hungry and I should probably save myself for a bougie, but I'm having this squeaky bean hot and spicy chicken. I used to rave about their chicken tikka chicken and I haven't tried this one actually so I'll give you a review. It smells a bit more like it's really a bit like Chinese, actually. Squirted the ketchup in, let's give her a go. Mmm, good, very good. Not as good as a chicken tikka, but still really good. I read it. Graham got me a peach iced tea. I have been obsessed with peach iced tea. Every time it comes near summer, I just drink peach iced tea like it's water. It's my favorite drink in the entire world. <laughs> Oh my god, we are finally done. There's John. John helped out a lot. John literally like built the entire sofa. Also, I don't have Wi-Fi and I'm not gonna bother getting it until I come back for good, which is like end of July, just because there's no point in paying it like when I'm not gonna be here. But it means we can't watch TV because obviously like it's just a smart TV. Like I didn't get one with like Sky on it because I don't watch Sky, I just watch Netflix and YouTube and stuff on TV. And I can't watch it tonight because I don't have any Wi-Fi. Can you hotspot a TV? Oh, that is so cute. My mom and dad left me a little card bless them this is what we're currently working with for the bed i mean it's all made up we just need to get the slots so we can throw it on thinking boojum time i need a boojum in a room i can't believe i've been here for what five days and i still haven't had a boojum criminal criminal anyone that doesn't know what boojum is i'll let you know it's a mexican in belfast the best burritos in the world i've tried it i've tried so many in london i did find one that was quite good i think it's called chilangos but absolutely fucking nothing on bo boojum <laughs> Okay. Secure the goods. I feel I genuinely feel a bit emotional. I'm gonna devour this and I'm not gonna video it because there, are, there will be salsa dripping down my face. It's not gonna be pretty. Okay, we're back. You know, it's it's all late. The lights are on, looking like a Love Island villa. We bit. Okay, that's a wee bit of an over exaggeration, but um, we've picked up George because obviously. He's staying with us tonight. Oh, doesn't that just look so comfy? I cannot wait to lie on that tonight. Isn't is that your new sofa, George? Joking, if you step on that, I will kill you. Anyway, I went to Tesco's and did a huge shop. So, do you want me to do a haul? Fine, I'll do a haul. Okay, so first of all, I went to, you know, F&F, &F, love F&F, and &F, got over myself a new dressing gown. I feel like a new house kind of warrants a new dressing gown. I got a new dressing gown when I went to London. I don't know, I feel like I've kind of moved on from a fluffy dressing gown. This is quite like waffly. I mean, watch me in two weeks time get a fluffy dressing gown. You can't beat it, but actually this is quite good for summer isn't it i actually really like it it kind of reminds me like a hotel one but short because i'm still not sold on long dressing gowns then i got a filter jug love a filter jug then got some cleaning bits just got some kitchen rolls some glass and mirror spray some bathroom spray some febreze some zaflora because i know flossy raves about this and i always see uh, anastasia king's north rave about this i think you just put it in your like sink and it makes it smell nice or something i don't really know this is the best bleach you'll ever use i mean we all know i've got bottle problems so i do like them I'm, I'm, i've tested a few bleaches in my time the pink stuff one is the best you will not you will not beat it then i got some antibacterial surface spray some dishwasher tablets some fairy i got oh my god this dip it's the free from garlic and herbs soft cheese dip it's the the best dip ever oh my god i don't think it's actually meant to be used as dip but i don't give a fuck it's so good got some of the good old tesco's chocolate hoops i'm actually loving it because i never used to shop at tesco's in london but now i get to shop in tesco's again my favorite apple juice growers harvest apple juice brushes because i have guests around it's always good 
good to have toothbrushes. And then I had to fucking buy meat for John, which I hate doing. I have to start making you buy your own meat. I don't want to contribute. Okay. Some tech vegan sausages. These are really, really good. Some of the wicked asparagus ravioli. Also very good. Got some super noodles so John can make me some later. Got some free from white chocolate buttons. I fucking love these. They're really, really good. Some squeaky bean chicken tikka. Just the necessities, really. Kettle crisp Thai sweet chili because they're quite similar to Sensations Thai sweet chili, which used to be my favorite crisps. And these are close second. They're not. They're not quite the real thing, but they're they are nice. Oh look at George. He's already at home. Oh my god, I'm crying. He's so cute. Let's see the fire. Look at our firewood and all, we're so prepared. I can't believe this is my always what the fuck. I just realized I didn't even show you like my food cupboard stuff. Got some beans, got some vegan pesto, got rigatoni, cause it's a superior pasta shape. Barocca, some fry light, but then also I got some olive oil. I like fry light if I'm frying sausages cause I don't really like them being really greasy, like if they're already greasy foods. I like frying onion and all like proper olive oil. Sriracha, some ketchup. It's time for George to get his first dentist what? stick. <gasps> Lie down. Lie down. Good boy. <gasps> Good boy. Should we just get married? Like, it, we've, got, we've got to that point. How's it? <laughs> Is that a yes or no? <laughs> got me two boys lying on me. I'm burnt. Why are you burnt? George, don't lick my ears. He works outside, so he gets the sun very, very much, doesn't he? No, George. <laughs> right. You've had her fun. I give me my white chocolate buttons. <laughs> These are. I think I genuinely think white chocolate might be better than milk chocolate. Bold statement. Mm, I can't agree. Oh my god! To really? a certain extent. But we're watching Spider-Man: Far From Home because it just came on Netflix. Even though I have watched it several times, I know exactly what happens. I think it's one of my Spider-Man and Iron Man are my favorite Marvel movies. Just so you know. For anyone confused, I actually did figure out that you can hotspot a TV. Who would have known? I will let you know if we get up to anything else, but we we'll probably just fall asleep. But I want to have my brother and his girlfriend over for breakfast in the morning, so I'll update you when I wake up. And yeah, I need to walk. Oh my god, I need to walk towards the morning. Usually my mum does that. I'm literally like, guys, I'm an adult. What the fuck? I thought I wish it was a bit of more. No, I, I don't wish it was. I like. It would be fun if we could like crack a bottle, you know, go a bit crazy. It's our first night in our new house. Our new house. It's literally my new house. Um, I wish it was our new house. Instead, we're having some. Apple and blackcurrant squash. I say squash, no, how about is that? Apple and blackcurrant dilute juice and tea. And white chocolate buttons from the free from Tesco Oil. I'm alive, but I'm dead. We're not gonna make some breakfast. My brother and his girlfriend were meant to come around for breakfast this morning, but they were drinking last night, so I don't think they're gonna come. So I'm going to make a fry now. And then I'm gonna film my house tour, and then John's leaving me for the day. It's just me and Georgie boy, I need to bring him for a walk actually. Okay, they've just rang us to tell us that they're coming. And I know I need tidy. John, is your room tidy? My room. <laughs> You're looking gorgeous this morning. <laughs> I got these vases on Amazon. But I don't know how you actually put a floor in it. Um, breakfast. Yeah. Woo! And uh, Elise works like 10 minutes from me, so I decided I'd walk down and see Elise. And she gave me some, oh my god, she gave me some vegan Nutella gelato because she works at a gelato shop called Al Gelato. It's really, really good. She wrote my name on it. It's genuinely the best flavor of gelato I've ever had in my entire life. Like, if you live in Belfast, get the vegan Nutella gelato. It's fucking sensational. That is the end of the vlog. It was quite a random ending, to be honest. You know me. I love an abrupt ending. But I just wanted to come on and say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. And Again, I'm just so grateful because I had the best first night in my house ever and it's because of you guys. Sorry, I feel so weird like ever talking about my house and not being like, thank you so much. I'm so sorry if I'm coming across a bit intense because I just want to make sure that you, oh no, I love you so much. And my nose is peeling, it got burnt in the sun, which is actually quite embarrassing. Like, who gets burnt in England? Me. I need to veep my moustache. Okay. Bye.